updated hair care routine a lot of you have been requesting me to do this and I'm super excited for doing that but before that let me tell you I have this makeup on and my hair is up in a bun because I just filmed a makeup tutorial so this is going to be my Nicki Minaj Anaconda makeup tutorial so don't forget to check that out so let's begin with my updated hair care routine so I divide my hair care routine into four steps the first step is the hair pre-wash routine for my hair pre-wash routine what I use for hair pre-wash is the hair oils these are all the hair oils that I use for my pre-wash hair routines I use them one by one my favorite is the coconut hair oil as it has lot of benefit this is one of the best hair oil if you want to buy just one oil I will definitely I will definitely recommend you a coconut hair oil. I also use Dabur Vatika, Bajaj Almonds and Kyo Carping hair oil. These are olive oil and almond hair oils. But these are very sticky and heavy so it depends on what is my mood and what I want to use it for, the, for that day. Another hair oil is Macadamia Healing Oil Treatment. This is a hair oil which I use when I want to apply just a little bit of oil on my hair just to tame the frizzy hair and when it comes to essential hair oil I use argan oil and rose hip oil I will be doing a separate video on argan hair oil because these are so happening these days and if you want to go on a thicker side if you want to add volume to your hair I also go ahead and use the castor oil other than applying a hair oil treatment for deep hair conditioning or as a hair oil mask I also apply homemade hair packs for my hair I have a lot of videos on my channel if you go and check Super Princess Joe hair mask you will find a lot of hair care videos so I applied that as per the season and as per my hair requirement suppose if it is a very hot weather outside it's very summery I will definitely go apply a henna hair pack on my hair but if it is winter and I need some shine to my hair I will apply a egg hair mask so there are different kind of hair masks which I make at home and apply and these are the regular part of my pre-wash hair care routine the next step is the hair wash routine so when I wash my hair the first thing is to wash the hair mask or the oil with a regular water I don't use any hot water or warm water my, for my hair even if it is cold for my hair I use only cold water and for my body I use warm water so if, you have, if I have to use a shampoo I go for this Mira herbal hair wash shampoo and this adds a lot of shine to my hair I also make my own homemade shampoo so you can check out a video uh, where I have made my own homemade shampoo that is Rita Amla and Shikakai hair shampoo I use that as well if I don't have those products sometimes as I live abroad in Singapore I go ahead and buy these herbal Mira hair wash shampoo I also use this fresh petals shampoo and conditioner as an alternative if I sometimes have um, less time or if I want to change it for a while I go for Petal Fresh Organics shampoo and conditioner and it's must to have a good shampoo and follow up with the conditioner especially if you have a long hair for a short hair it's not a problem but for long hair they get tangled so it's very good to have a conditioner in your hair wash routine also I wash my hair only twice or thrice in a week so it's like every two or three days I wash my hair I try to avoid hair washing uh, regularly because if you wash your hair a lot it loses its natural pH balance it makes it becomes more oily if you use a lot of shampoo on your scalp and if you keep rubbing your scalp every day it produces more sebum and causes dandruff so it's better to use it use your shampoo every other days or every two days for day for days when i'm at home and i don't want to go out and i'm sure that uh, i still want to feel clean i go ahead and use a dry shampoo this one is Batista dry shampoo you just need to apply it on your scalp rub it with your fingers and you're ready to go third step is my hair drying routine usually when I wash my hair I left them in my towel for some 10 to 15 minutes so that all the water is dripped into the towel and after that I let it dry in fan or in room temperature I try to wash my hair at the nights or evening so that 
once it's damp I can just sleep in them and when I get up in the morning they are totally dry even if when I plan to go out I try to take hair wash one or two hours before I leave the house so that before by the time I leave house my hair is already dried and I don't have to use blow dryer but days when I have to have less uh, dried styled hair and I have less time I use a heat protecting spray so this is chi heat protecting spray which prevents the hair damage caused by heat and the final step is the step 4 which is hair styling routine so regular days when I don't have anything special for styling my hair I use macadamia hair oil Lee Sensei hair repair serum it is specially for colored hair L'Oreal professional Liz Ultim serum and this is almost over so I need to buy a new bottle I also use this style anti dandruff and moisturizing product so basically for hair styling i try to use hair oil a bit and other than that i sometimes use a hair styling product right now i have this style anti dandruff moisturizing product in my hair and also once you are done with curling or any hair styling i use some hair care products or hair sprays this one is from l'oreal and this is so whenever I do hair styling, I try to use a little bit of hair oil and hair styling product as per the requirement of my hairstyle. So these are the four steps of my hair care routine. If you want to have a detailed weekly or monthly hair care routine, do let me know. I will love to do that explained video for you guys. Other than these four important things, it's very important to eat healthy, sleep well, include protein in your diet and make sure you are happy always because stress causes a lot of hair fall. I hope you guys 